Roman Parisi versus Dave Radford. Dave Radford taking this fight on very short notice, Paul. Very short notice, Ian. And can I also say that this fight is sponsored by Specialized Supplements. Should took the fight basically about um, three or four hours beforehand. Once again, Norman's uh, opponent, original opponent, uh, pulled out. He's been through about three opponents in uh, three days, unfortunately. Well, as you can see by his experience, a nice, nice shoot down there on Dave Radford, taking him down and executing side control and now mount. I mean, that was fast. That was very fast. Norman's trying the arm triangle. Has he got it on there, Paul? You know, he's trying to get his head down. I think Dave's a bit too wily for that. Yeah, he's got his arm back out there. I don't think he's going to get it. But he's, he's moving him over to the cage. You know, these guys are far more experienced on the ground, you know. You know, it, it was a long time before mixed martial arts or cage fighting as you want to call it nowadays uh, actually became legal over in France it was illegal for a very very long time and the guys had to come over to this country to fight and at the skill level that they're at you wouldn't have ever thought that it was illegal over in France and is he a big middleweight as well he looks good at the weight he's tall he's big oh there's a big elbow he's dropping down there you know, Radford's a tough guy though Ian well Radford is, is, is one of the Oh, they are oh, they big, are elbows, big yeah. elbows. I mean, I was just going to say Radford is a straight fighter. This guy is, you know, he can handle any pressure anyone gives him. But I mean, Norman is blowing down some big elbows. He is, he, and he's, a, like I've said it once again, he's a big middleweight. He's how a middleweight should be. He's tall, he's fit, he's strong, and he's defending well. He's, he's uh, nullifying all of Dave's responses. Dave executing a, a mount escape, nearly got him off there, but just not quite. He's still got his wits about him though, Dave. He's not hurt by that. Norman has to be a little bit careful where he's putting his hands there. Well, Dave might have took this fight only on three hours' notice, but you can see he's here for a fight. He's not giving up. I mean, I, I've seen men give up on, on less punishment what he's taking right now. Again, Dave keeps himself fit. He trains all the time. He coaches a few of the lads who are fighting tonight as well. Um, so he is always fit to fight. He's nearly out there. But um, he, he's stuck in a bad position here, Ian. You pull all his uh, mount escapes. I mean, Dave's got to be getting tired. He's taking blows. He's trying to, to dismount. You know, I mean, how much more can he take? It, I mean, I think Norman might be tired there as well. You know, he keeps on moving back in. He is looking for that submission, isn't he? Uh, he he's trying to set it up with the punches. But like you say, it's very, very tiring being stuck underneath for such a time. The referee's having a word there. I couldn't quite see what he did here. No, I think it, maybe it was his mouth, mouthpiece coming out or something. And... But Dave Radford's still working hard from his back. He's, he's, he's not letting Norman have his own way here. I mean, he's not marked up there. I think he's defending quite a lot of them shots, Ian. Yeah, that's right. I mean, because when he was throwing elbows down, you could see that they were glancing off the forearm, off the hand. You know, but uh, even still, I mean, the referee, he's there to make sure that the fighters do not get seriously hurt. And even if the punches or the elbows are striking off the arm or the hand, nearly, nearly escaped there yeah. to Dave. Uh, like I say, even if they're, they're glancing off the arm or the hand, the referee is still within his right to stop the fight. It's what they call a fighter not intelligently defending himself. Is it stuck in I mean, when they're taking shots like that, even if they're hitting the arms, Ian, I mean, the arms do tire, the arms get injured. I mean, I've heard a story, didn't you break one of your own students' arms by uh, a guy blocking? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the guy was a little bit like me. I threw a kick, he, he threw his arm up to block it and... His elbow popped out his socket and his forearm snapped in half, so I mean, it's, it's easy done. But Ultimate Force have, have the best medics here, they have the best referees here, so, you know, the, the, the fighter safety is paramount. See, he's, he's still intelligently blocking there. He, he isn't getting hit with, with as many as it actually looks. Norman must be getting tired as well. I mean, this will take its toll on both fighters, Paul. And we've said it many times before, the heat in there, I mean, they're both sweated up. Norman, you know, he's still working that submission. He wants that arm triangle, you know, he keeps on digging for it. I mean, like, the mount is just like any other position. If they can't finish from that position, the referee is within his right to stand it up. He's been on the mount for so long now. I mean, it's been, what, two minutes, three yeah, minutes? Yeah. Uh, or any dismount. Nice so. transition. It's as if he heard me, didn't he? You know, and he's what? under that arm. He's in a great position here. Now he's trying for the head and arm triangle again. Is he going to mount it up? He's, he's got his arm back out there. I thought he was going to mount and transition to the other side. He's looking for it. That knee is across. Well, he could gain the mount at any time if he wants, but he's just, he's just trying the knee ride. Do you know he's waiting for that arm, isn't he? He's waiting for that arm to come back across. He likes that move, doesn't he? He likes the move. He's looking for that head and arm triangle. Do, do you think sometimes, Ian, when a fighter gets experience and he has his signature move, that sometimes it's a bit of a disadvantage because the guy tends to know 
Exactly, uh, that's what happens. Uh, and also, Paul, what, what happens is when you're that used to trying the same move out in the gym, you, you forget to try other things out. But this is on tight. This is very is tight. tight. He's it's, been waiting all night for that. It's the move he's been trying for all night. And, and there's, there's the tap. tap. It was only about time, but the referee not happy because... He should have let he go. He let go. When, it, when, it, when a fighter taps, you leave go immediately. Dave's not happy about that, but uh, a, a, a good win nevertheless, Ian. Nice win for Norman there. Specialized supplements, anywhere, only one. Going twice. 